It is a well-known fact that the Catholic Church is being shaken by a serious crisis of priestly vocations. We could see in the coming decade the closure of even more seminaries around the world. St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary, a place of worship, a place of peace, a place of vocation. Established in 1988 in southeast Minnesota, in the city of Winona, St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary has been an important gateway for those following a calling to the priesthood. As a part of the Society of St. Pius X, St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary's mission is to preserve the traditions of the Church and build upon the knowledge wisdom and piety that have been passed down through the centuries. We have to give complete, total formation. Formation of the mind, formation of the will, and formation of the entire human virtue. He will receive classes, but also he will receive a formation by the liturgy, he will receive a formation by the day-to-day -day life at the seminary, and he will receive a formation by the environment that we try to create at the seminary. Under the direction of the rector and his staff, the seminarians are formed by their day-to-day -day life. Prayer and meditation, classes of philosophy, and theology, recreation, and most importantly, the sacred liturgy itself. The mission of the seminary is to form a Catholic priest and everything that goes along with that in their classes, in the liturgy that they're exposed to, everything in the entire life of the seminary is ordered towards forming men of sacrifice, which is essentially what the priest is. Founded upon the centuries-old tradition of Catholic spirituality and formation, St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary, unlike many other seminaries throughout the world, has nearly doubled in numbers in the last decade. We're seeing here from our youth an abundance of vocations that hasn't been seen anywhere in 50 years. This enormous growth has presented a serious dilemma. With the ever-increasing number of vocations, the seminary now faces the difficulty not only of housing the generous young men who apply each year, but also of sustaining the large number of seminarians already present. The harvest of vocations has simply outgrown the walls of the current building. We are literally out of room. The lack of place at the seminary in Winona is in fact the reason why we decided to leave. Because we needed to put the young man in an environment of silence, of peace, of recollection, of presence of God. And if we are too much people in the same room, in the same space, this necessary recollection, this necessary silence becomes impossible. The seminarians for the first couple years that they enter the seminary, they are crowded three to a room. It is difficult to escape, to get alone and, to, and, and be with God. Although hesitant to leave a building so rich in memories, the administration realized that relocating was the only option. We began looking for a bigger building or a piece of property that would be appropriate but we couldn't find anything right for a place whose priority would be the spiritual formation of the students. We knew that moving was the answer to our problem, we just didn't know where to move to. After several years of searching throughout the country, in rural Virginia, the answer was found. We finally found property in Buckingham County, Virginia, and as soon as we saw it, we knew immediately that this was the solution. The administration then realized that in this countryside, they not only found the solution to the problem of space, but also the chance to achieve a much grander vision. 
With the property in Virginia, we didn't just find an answer to our problem, we found something greater. This would be a building whose very architecture would play a key role in the formation of priests for tomorrow. Well, the architecture of the building is not just the aesthetics of how it looks or the materials that we use, but really the architecture, and this is particularly true with sacred architecture, the architecture is how a building feels. What we're trying to get to and the goal is to evoke the presence of God in the buildings and in the spaces so that the seminarians can feel the presence of God uh, by the, the very being within the spaces and around the seminary itself. Because of its architecture and the spiritual implications, many see this as a newfound hope for Catholicism in America. So the architecture is done in such a way that the, this young man will be soaked by silence and adoration. This kind of architecture hasn't been created in the last 70 or even 100 years. The whole environment is directed to the service of God because that essentially is what their life is meant to be. With this idea of formation taken from Catholic and artistic tradition, American Catholics will witness young men entering the school of beauty and truth and coming out strong and holy priests. A seminary is for everyone who is Catholic a great hope, a great joy, because we know that it is in the seminary that we will form the priest of tomorrow. The future of Catholic America is seeing a new light of hope upon the horizon. And from the rural heartland of Virginia comes a call, a call for a new crusade, a crusade of generous souls to help in the building of this monumental work for God and for his children. This project is not our project. This project is a project of the Catholic Church, which means it's a project of our Lord Jesus Christ who want to reach the soul, who want to pass his life to the soul. So if we are building a seminary, it's because we want to spread out the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ to all the souls, to all people who are looking for the truth. The answer has been found. The call has been made. The future is all that awaits. <laughs>